Hello there, Carpologists. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be taking a look at this, the Cyprinus HQ two-man bivvy. I've also got the overwrap with me as well, which will be going on afterwards. But the first thing I noticed was just how small the bag is, considering this is a two-man. It doesn't weigh too much. Everything included with the ground sheet and the pegs is 11 and a half kilos, but if you take those away, if you don't bring the ground sheet, it's down to about eight and a half to nine kilos. So not very heavy at all. But uh, you've seen me put up plenty of bivvies over the time. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's also extremely cold today. So with the magic of editing, we have one fully erected base HQ two-man bivvy. Now the main construction of this bivvy is very simple. Three main ribs and then a fourth rib for the peak at the front. All of that goes together with no problems whatsoever. Sometimes you get bivvies which are really tight to try and get the bars together, but no issues with that. All flew in very easily, then pull the tension bar across. That gives it all a bit of tension and rigidity and gives you the main shape and frame. I then put the torsion bars in to give it the upright position, pegged out the back and front, stuck the ground sheet in and pegged round the shape of the ground sheet. So really nice and simple to pull up and there's no saggy points. Sometimes you can peg it all out and then for some reason you've got a saggy front corner or a saggy back but all of this went out nice and as you can see nice and tense and very very rigid is the first thing I've noticed as well. Now internal space as you'd imagine being a two-man is ample. I've got my feet out fairly reclined position right now on a chair and my feet still aren't out the front door they're still protected by the peak so if it's raining I could sit like this comfortably with no issues and that's including my wide boy bed chair behind me so even though that's pushed to the back and sticking out probably halfway into the bivvy there's still room for me to have a chair here you can even have another chair there a couple of mates in here plenty of room for your cooking all your bags and everything for those longer sessions or if you're just someone that likes to stretch out absolutely no issue whatsoever. Now height wise you can't stand up in it like you can in some massive two man bivvies but plenty of room sitting on my bed chair no need to slouch you can look straight out with no issues and plenty of headroom above you. Now for those of you that like your specific dimensions it's 305 centimetres wide, 250 centimetres deep and 140 centimetres high. Now, although this is the first time I've ever put this bivvy up myself, I have actually done a whole week in one of these already. When we went out to a Tang de Soleil about a month or so back, I stayed in the exact same bivvy with the overwrap, which is already supplied by the venue. And we had a whole range of weather. We had wind, rain, really sunny, thunderstorms, really cold, and never once did I need to zip the door down. I always have protection. When it's really sunny, it kept me cooler, but when it's freezing cold, I was nice and toasty in there. And like I said, with the, the amount of protection with the overwrap, when it was lashing down with rain, I'd be sat just in the porch with my feet out like I am right now not getting wet at all and I could still watch the water without any worry of getting wet and cold it really was a very comfortable stay now following on from what I just said about using this in France one day in particular it was extremely windy the most I got from it was that a little bit of sideways wobble but you'd be very very hard pressed to find any shelter on the market that won't have a little bit of flex more impressive though is the front strength if I can push against this lean against it really push and it doesn't budge you have to be really hard pressed to push against those bars before they flex so there certainly isn't going to be any issue of you having an only falls and horses moment when leaning against this and the material used is 100 percent waterproof and been tested to 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head this is going to keep you nice and dry even in the harshest of storms like water off a duck's back and the door has a two-way zip function, so right now I've got it zipped all the way to the top and held in place by the two clips. Or you can have it right at the bottom, or you can have it halfway, somewhere have a nice little letterbox window. Especially if that wind and rain is really pushing in, the peak will give you a nice bit of protection so you can still have a window to see out. Keep that air circulating around and keeping you nice and fresh inside. It's also got a mozzie mesh front to it if you just zip that up and uh, pull the window back. And there's also a PVC uh, option to add on to that as well, so you can have it open view but still keep yourself nice and dry. Either side of the door are two big mozzie mesh windows. As you can see, I've got that one removed already. Got zips either side with Velcros holding it in place. Velcro bottom, really nice heavy duty. It's got a good feel to it and it fits nicely as well. So zipping that back down, there's no sagging anywhere. It's all clipped back together exactly how it should or Velcro back together how it should. But the ventilation doesn't stop there. So for those really hot summer days or summer evenings, you've also got mozzie mesh vents at the back once again. So nice, free flow and airflow all the way through the bivvy. And the last few things to pick up on, firstly you've got four rod retaining straps. You've got two on the front, so that's for when you're retying your rigs, keeping your rods stable at the front. But you've also got two on the back rib as well. So that's for something like your marker rod, your spot rod or a spare rod, something that you will use, but you want to keep out of the way but keep secure as well. 
The finish, lovely colours you see, as I've talked about the material used, you've also got powder coated poles, which gives a lovely nice matte black finish to that, and topped off with a heavy duty ground sheet. And all of that comes in, as I said earlier, at 11 and a half kilos. And as you can see, the front of the bivvy can be completely pulled back either side to make it a really open fronted shelter. Great for airflow in the summer, still giving you a bit of protection from the sun, but keeping a nice lot of air flowing through. But now, time to put the overwrap on. And once again, with the magic of editing, ah, bollocks, wrong clip. That's the right clip. And here we have it with the overwrap on. Now, as you'd expect, straight away, more leg room. That's simply because the front of the overwrap falls off the peak rather than behind the peak. And where I've got the the main bivvy pulled back at the sides, that extra space is completely usable. I could have left the sides out, but uh, if I want a bit of extra leg room and more space in here, then that's what I've done. So easy going to fit two bed chairs in here and uh, plenty of room for all your equipment as well. And on the front, very much the same sort of features as you have on the main bivvy, two large mozzie mesh vents either side. So if you've got the main bivvy still pegged out, you can open up both lots of vents, still get the airflow coming through or do what I've done, pull the sides back and then you can have these vents open and get some more airflow coming through. You've also got two uh, holes for storm poles and adapters which can go onto the main peak so that will just give it more rigidity at the front if needed but right now it's really not needed. And whizzing around to the back you've got two mozzie mesh vents in the same location as you've got them on the main bivvy itself. So if you keep these ones open on the bivvy before you put the overwrap on you can then choose to open up the vents at the back whenever you like. Now not only is it giving me more space in here but it's also keeping me much more protected. This time of year we're coming into really cold weather, this morning really hard frost. I'm sure if I'd done the night in here it would have kept me much warmer and drastically reduced the amount of condensation that would have been in here. But on the flip side, come summer when it's really hot, you want a bit of protection from the sun, get a bit of shade, it's going to keep you much cooler in here as well. And the overwrap comes in at just three kilos, so even if you just sling it in your car and keep it in there in case you need it, it's not going to take up too much extra space or weight. So there you go, the Cyprinus Base HQ two-man and overwrap. You can also get the one-man and overwrap, but today I've had the two-man with me. You can also buy them individually, so you can get the bivvy separately and the overwrap separately, but it's more cost-effective to get the two together. If you go for the one-man and the overwrap, you're looking at $299.99, or if you've got the two-man and the overwrap, $349.99, which I think is great quality and a great price because the overriding thing I've taken from this today is just how top quality your material is. And like I said, I, I spent a whole week in one out in France and uh, kept me nice and comfortable, kept me warm, kept me dry, done everything you want it to. And knowing that the price is 350 quid pretty much, that's a great bargain. So uh, for more information, please do visit the Cyprinus website. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.